I don't see it anywhere in scripture where Jesus says, go plant churches. He says, go make disciples. But we plant churches because we believe the best way to do that, um, the best way to make disciples is through planting churches. My name is Johan Verster and I is from Pretoria in South Africa. My name is Toby Meyer. I is one of the predicants by Lichtpunt in Pretoria. The typical Afrikaans guy would say he's a Christian either because he knows a bit about Christianity or his parents would say that they are Christian. Pretoria, as you might know, is the, is the capital of South Africa and given our history, um, it's played a very prominent role in, uh, in, the, in the rise of apartheid. From the 1960s, especially when apartheid was legalized in South Africa, up until 1994 when the new South Africa dawned, what you would have is that the people from different cultures would live in different areas, really different rules would be uh, applied for all of them in their different contexts. And of course, uh, with the, the minority white people that were governing the country at that stage, uh, made this whole segregated system work towards their benefit. One part of it is that there's been a great rejection of the things of the past by you know, white and black together in this, in this country. And most of it in a good way, but a lot of it has, has meant that there's a lot of rejection of religion, a lot of a rejection of the church. Um. The reason why we planted Lichtpunt was to reach uh, unbelievers. And we saw that our mission field was the Afrikaans speaking people. That was really where both me and Tubi come from. And when we came to faith in the UK, we felt a burden for lots of Afrikaans people who might be very religious, but don't know Jesus. And so from probably 2005, both me and Tubi felt called by the Lord to come back to Pretoria, to the place where both of us grew up in. The question that we often got, surely there's enough churches, why, why do we need more churches? Why do you need to plant a church? We were firm in our minds at least why it was necessary as the best vehicle to reach unbelievers. So at that stage, you know, Acts 29 was something that we often turned to to remind us that uh, this is a good, necessary uh, way to take the gospel forward even in a church place like Pretoria. We launched in April 2010 and since then the Lord has been uh, extremely good. Uh, we grew lots in the, in the beginning years. We always said right from the beginning, we told it to our core group, we told it to the church that we wanted to continue planting churches. And so in 2013 we sent out 50 of our young adults to another part of the city to plant another Lichtpunt church. We always said that we want to be a community that doesn't only reach this part of the city and this demographic. You know, so in, and in a sense, you know, because of the language that we that we planted in, it would have always restricted the reach of the church. And so we realized that one of the best ways to do that is would be to plant churches that are not only Lichtman but aren't only African speaking churches. Before you know meeting the Lichtman guys, I was uh, at a Baptist church here in the city of Pretoria, wrestling with the same issues is how do we reach uh, the city that we live in? How do we reflect the city that we live in? In my mind I was always like, I want to be a part of something like that, but I'm not the guy to do it, you know. Um, and so when I met the Lichtman guys, you know, they were convinced that only oh, no, you're the guy to plant this church. And for years I just kept saying, I'm not, I'm not him. Uh, you find the guy, I'll get behind him, but I'm not him. 